What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the video title, our topic today is what is holding Gambia back? Because if you are being honest boy, the the most young people, myself included, like we have totally lost hope and faith in this country. But for some boy, Gerald Nagai new risks and lives just to get out of this country. Lululek should give you an idea how tough Gambia is. Yeah, when you look at it boy, Gambia fi, you nyepa koneka di Dutch, whether you are poor or rich, we all have the same bad roads, we all have the same slow internet, we all have the same nawek. I know it is worse when you don't have money, but even if you have money sir, certain things you cannot get them here. For example, when you have a patient that's critically ill, sometimes the best option is to fly them out of the country. Like what's worse than that? Yangi ambaha, yangi amhalis, bepare, munulo cure your loved one in your own country. Imagine a little so that is why I came up with a list of things that I think are holding Gambia back and least my opinion Laman and solely based on my observation as a young Gambian. So let's get started. Number one, leadership. The number one thing holding Gambia back is its leadership. In Gambia here, you'll see Kunga Hamantelene appoint Nanko in a leadership position. And the first thing Lumo Halad do, how can I improve this place and how can I improve the system there? The first thing Lumo Halad is what will I get from this position and how will it benefit me? You more make a number one problem because nobody more than you will the leaders in Sealand Boka. Now let's just take Nawek and Gamtel as an example. Imagine now, since forever ago boy it been a problem when go fix. Look how small Gambia is. Two million people, guess it. You cannot supply them with stable electricity and a good internet service. And you are here buying fancy cars for administration. Tell your loan the administer sir, next minute sir. Kore good. Dun hala nakala nyo kore glo lo lude. Why they will be here thinking about gender e moto agri sampa kir. Soon leaders ye, any day you talk, uh, start the poor country first rate, you will see a significant change in this country. Now don't get me wrong there. There are good people in the system. People that work really hard to make things happen. But very good. Because you're young try so hard to do everything by the book and get your colleagues and seniors doing malpractices and getting away with it. So you You know someone is doing wrong uh, when they hit you with proverbs like <laughs> Bro, you're not a niso boy, you're a multi boy. Number two, withholding information. What I mean by this is like failure to mentor and share resources when you can. Like you've been doing something for like 5, 10, 15 years and you see young people that are trying to do the same thing that you've done. You should be happy sir to share information and mentor them. Don't hold back on information and opportunities. Try to put young people on as much as possible. I'm speaking from experience there like I reach out to you and you have to explain you have to explain you have to explain you have to explain a simple process and you have if I depend like boy, then I guess nini nini nana like guys start dip it around the bush. You also bopa then they have nini key. If I need to conceal information, bukut mawa. When you see young people starting out or doing something and making mistakes, don't even wait for them sir to reach out to you. As soon as you see an aspect they can improve on, tell them and they will never forget you for that. A good example is Mr. Dumbbell, the CEO of DBC. When I was starting out my business boy, I went to his office to make some inquiries about the printing stuff and whatnot. And while I was going out, Marta said mom si biti. Hamud ma musul magis. That was the first time mum magis. And he engaged me and started asking me questions upon questions. Be man zuma bopa sa maye was my bihal bina. Be ana dad bi mom lumbuga. But but then no nula kone ka diko tonto diko tonto. Be ma explain al kone business bila buga start. You know this is the idea ni agni la ko buga defe. And ham nga mom he has been in the printing business for years. So he started sharing tips with me, target el nini, ninga ko makete, emal fini, efalini. Basically, the fajil so many years of experience mu share ko with me in 30 minutes. Be pare mu jo ma business card ami mu nemane if you have any questions, you can always call me. But since then call over ko. Um tie u 30 minutes yo mu darasa because dem ko dey roma si coin be fini every time ah. Why do my dey ha me sa? Lolo mo la won dey come. Def no lolo te fate na ko. Why man, I'll never forget that. The I can say eh? the reason why I was able to have so much growth within a year is my business be. Mom contribute na si. This my business is the maybe make a feel like a big business in Gambia. Best start the employee in it. Mom na wa mom contribute na si. Just because he spared 30 minutes of his time to guide a young Gambian who hamu blum neka the deaf. So yeah, we'll make a koto yude wa ndo yine if I depend reg. They'll share things, boy. They'll share things with the youngins. Share opportunities. Small acts you know no Munna change life you can Even though your munga nyaka receive acknowledgement, sir. Well, at least you made Gambia better by 1%. The 
The third thing holding Gambia back is the unproductive workforce. If you want to know what stress and frustration looks like, huh, just go to any of these public offices rec. A simple transaction there. The staff there will frustrate you like you've never been frustrated before. A job that they are paid to do, boy, they'll come and act like they are doing you a favor instead. Maybe they hate their jobs and they are only there for the paycheck or maybe they are demotivated by the leadership. I don't know that. But anytime get them any of these offices for a simple transaction, boy, then they latch a bop as a halamotanganeka Gambian. Yeah, when you get to the banks also, it's the same thing. You have to wait in long lines just to withdraw your own money. Dunga haman teneni de favora jail like five to six tellers, boy, nyari teller nyo faneka di attend to people. I'm no economist there, but I know now this lower productivity at workplaces mungi cost these institutions, the mungi cost Gambia tam. And another thing we need to hold Gambia back is its unproductive youth. Now we don't want like that. Why dig that? Fee you never buga escape the cabi. Why you never do you want them? But I'm not talking about plus the poor while they engage in looking hamut. Trial boy, ngati esi dara di yengu si dara. Why soon you are hearing ganan? The fan you boy, nan go mi ala reg. Boy, you get no new go mi ala de. The yala lefa wahne dimbalela zaba ho ma dimbalela. Even yala fum don wahe about tawakul. Purunga gom komom. I shall use as an example. Muna soko gome kom no ko wara gome. Dinala provider kom num provider le pishai. I'm not super tell do dey gisben pisha good talk nega am di wahnan. The fan you. So but they are like especially them with empty stomachs, boy. They soon they are losing gold. They come back full. So yalla dal so ko gome danga eu suba jaba si dara then the rest boy nga bako si loha yalla mo muragleko. The first time when they met Dakar, I got there like around four or five si suba. Already boy boy nyungi eu nyungi si street bi boy nyi fast lane bi boy rush hour bi ni 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 soon mo romi boy nyi di jai cafe nyi di dem job nyi di watch and from night shift. So I realized ne diga diga one of the reasons to talk boy nyi round you it's because of their crazy work ethics. But then again, Tamit, uh, so whole Senegal for the hustle bit of the fed. Sent teachers here, a police officers here are all paid really well. But Gambia, on the other hand, what are we every day? A traffic bin um their mail. Now they're not getting job. They're probably busy today. You know, they pay 3k. What a boy, Tamit, feel like ne ah boy, 3k salary tam ne ka parasite tamo again. Why look? I fail to realize ne moya. The things you do today, more they determine, more they shape the future. There's this thing called a uh, compound effect. Small things you dey repeat every day, you dey know make a big things. Like expect all of them gym when they are fit. Same thing like in this life, boy. Then I tell you that I dey got deaf, dey got repeat. Then I start digis dara. As for the government, mama, they know over blame guys. Ah, why you born more and I blame government be pare yosa papa. I ain't talk them zalo hi. But we mum doubt. Man, mafi da ha blame government. Why still mangi ewe every day dey deaf lumamu. Every day, nagma complain na Gambia da hot, Gambia da fast stressful, Gambia da fast slow. Why still mangi grind with buneka cause buga na kufi mige. So yeah, complain mom, complain al, blame all government. Be alul, get things off your chest. Why deko bole agiengu? I'm not alul, but mo neka di hold Gambia back. But these are the things you mama na come up with. Why so how many more things you neka di hold Gambia back? Please share ko si comment sections below. So if you enjoying a video, be share ko put kenen akenen mungkokis and subscribe al for more content.